Okay, so here is something I impulse bought because, I don't know, whatever, it's freaking weird. But this is an Ouya-themed controller for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it was like 25 bucks on Amazon. It actually has a lot of features. Uh, it has a gyro, rumble, uh, other stuff. It doesn't have NFC, but it has everything else. And it is themed like an Ouya controller. <laughs> um, it's not exactly one of the same, you know. So a couple of people are like, oh yeah, it's the buttons are going to stick underneath the face plates, blah, blah, blah. Don't buy the controller. Like, dude, it's not the same controller. <laughs> it's just themed like it. So I've seen this before. Um, and I've heard that the buttons don't stick underneath the face plates and all that silliness. So it's in this bag with the, um, okay, so it comes out the bottom there, comes with a, uh, I believe this is USB-C, um, to go with the switch, which uses USB-C, so that's good. So it comes with a little cheap USB-C cable, some instructions, and the controller, which Looks and almost feels exactly like the original Ouya controller. These face plates are non-removable, um, and it is a wireless. Uh, it is a wireless controller, and it charges. It has a chargeable battery, rechargeable battery, and I don't want to say it exactly. The triggers don't feel like the Ouya triggers. Actually, I think they feel worse. <laughs> um, these are fine, I guess. These aren't sticking underneath the face plates. Get sharp. <laughs> uh, yeah, the buttons. I, I don't. They don't feel like they they would stick underneath the face plates. Uh, the analogs do feel like the Ouya analogs. The D pad is a little different. Actually, this is really weird. It's like buttons, but it's very stiff feeling. Um, I don't know that I like it. But the D-pad on the Ouya was like, it was, it kind of did like a bowl thing like that. So from here to here, it was just, from here to here, it would be like this. But with this, it's more like, do, 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 if that even makes any fucking sense, I don't know. But it does not have a touchpad or anything like the Ouya controller. It has a sync button, the USB-C charging Thing. It's got a home, a capture button, uh, start, and select. They actually come out of the controller. That's a good thing. So you can feel them. They're very stiff, though. A lot of the buttons are fairly stiff. Um, unlike on the Ouya controller, these are like matte. These are like a matte finish, whereas the Ouya was all glossy. And I would say the Ouya actually has better... Uh, the Ouya had better, um, oops, I was trying to get the thing to sharpen, and it just did not want to, and I slapped it. The Ouya had better triggers, actually, so if anything, the Ouya control is actually better than this, but, except for the fact that these don't stick underneath the face plates, these, this is a little different. This is raised up, whereas the Ouya was just, it wasn't. <laughs> um, here's the back. It says gamepad wireless for Nintendo Switch or Switch or whatever. It has uh let's see. Well I'm blind. I can't see. It's too dark in here. I heard the battery life is fine. I'll maybe I'll just put on the screen what the battery life is. Because I'm blind, apparently. And my phone is just letting me know that this was delivered. Um, it feels... I want to say it's weird because it feels kind of light, but it doesn't. I don't know. I, I have a Pro controller. It's. I didn't mind the Ouya controller so much. I didn't think it was wonderful, but I didn't hate it. So, you know, it was okay to me. Other people hated it. Thought it sucked. The ones controller that is the worst controller that I've ever used is the Retron 5 controller. That was awful. But this, 
This actually just, I guess, pairs up wirelessly, has rumble and uh, gyro. So that's just an unboxing and showing, you know, sh overview without actually using it. <laughs> so thank you for watching.